Oke, okay, tes good morning guys. Uh, uh, can you hear my voice? Clear? Someone? I'm not sure if you can hear me now. Yes sir. Can hear you sir. Okay. Okay good. Okay. Uh, I hope you are doing fine there. Uh, because in here in Malacca the case is uh, getting worse. The numbers of uh, affected COVID even in one area is now red zone in Jasin. It's going up to more than almost 100 I guess. So be careful. Huh? Okay, now we're going to See chapter three, which is thermodynamic. Okay. Oh, before I forgot, maybe your second test, your test two, will be held somewhere around next week. Okay. Next week or te- next two weeks. I will confirm later. And, and the, the the chapter covered is uh, chapter two and three in this one. Uh, what is chapter 2? Huh? Chapter 3 is a uh, thermodynamic. Chapter 3, chapter 2 is uh, properties of matters. Okay? Elasticity, condition for equilibrium, simple harmonic motion, pressure, and fluid. Okay? That will be chapter 2. Chapter 3 is uh, thermodynamics. I have uploaded the slide as you learn. Can check okay and i mentioned to group one one yesterday i know that sayote has uh, given you the soft copy of the textbooks uh, of physics i uh, think the uh, okay physics for science and engineers with modern physics right douglas c gian gian Coley. okay basically <clears throat> Uh, it's a quite complete textbook. Basically, all the questions from my slide, you can find the answer from the textbooks. Okay, so you try the question and look at the answer from the textbooks. Okay, okay, now we're going to see chapter three uh, thermodynamics. So, basically, thermodynamics is one of the branch of physics. Okay. Uh, that study or deals with the relationship between heat and other forms of energy. Okay, for example, it describes uh, how thermal energy convert to kinetic energy, or how thermal energy convert to potential energy. Right. So, basically, it describes relation uh, between thermal energy. They convert to another forms of energy and how effect matters. Okay. Just by look at the name, right? Thermodynamic. Thermo means thermal. Thermal energy. Heat. Right? So basically it's related to heat and the conversion to other energies. Okay. Okay. Let's see. This is the Units we're going to discuss. Uh, okay, the thermal equilibrium and zero law of thermodynamics. Equilibrium. Equilibrium means equal, right? So two object placed in thermal contact will eventually can come to the same temperature. So if you put two different objects side by side, that means they have physical contact, right? In the end, they will have the same temperature, right? Why? Because of the contact and the thermal will go through to each two different uh, object there until they get to the equilibrium state, which is they have the same temperature. Okay, so for example, you... uh, (coughs) put uh, two 
glass of water. One is the hot one, another one is a cold one. Put side by side, contact, there's a contact between each other. Okay. Hot and cold one, connect them. In the end, eventually, they will come, both of the, that water, they will come to the, the same temperature. Because of the heat transfer from the heat to the cold, right? Until they came to the same temperature. This is what we call thermal equilibrium. Okay. <clears throat> okay, the zero law of thermodynamics say that if two objects are each in equilibrium with the object, they are also thermal equilibrium with each other. So, for example, there's two glass, right? Two glass, the hot and cold one. Okay. And there's another object, for example. Another water. And the water is equilibrium with these two. With these two. That means they are also equilibrium with each other. Those three, those three are equilibrium with each other. Okay. <clears throat> okay, this is, uh, I go to this one. Wait, 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 let me, okay, this is one. Ideal gas law. Uh, this is the famous formula of uh, ideal gas law. PV equal to NRT. P is pressure, right? Like we dis discuss in fluid, pressure. Pressure equal to F over A, right? If you still remember, pressure equal to force divided by area. Okay. V is volume. Uh, N. What is N? N is number of moles. What is moles? Most is, uh, uh, what is it, less uh, substance of uh, atom, atom, most. R, R is a universal gas, gas constant. T is temperature. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. This is just example. This is straightforward. T is given. P is given. Uh, volume is given. Uh, you you have to find volume. Uh, M is uh, N is given. One more. So it's a direct question. Okay. You can check the answer letter in the textbooks. Because I will just go to the. Important one. Well, this is all oh, still the. Uh, okay, this is another. <coughs> uh, just now is okay. Let me let me write this one. Okay, this one is for. N is for moles, but this one is for molecules, uh, capital N molecules. Okay. If you see the difference there, uh, <coughs> small n and capital N. The difference, small n is molecule, capital, eh, sorry, small n is mole, uh, Capital N is uh, molecule. Okay. Okay, number of moles. <coughs> so K is a Boltzmann constant. Uh, T is the same temperature. Okay. So basically, in solving the question letter, you need to find whether you have the question is on. Is given is in uh, molecule or mole. Okay. 
uh, molecule means uh, number of atoms, number uh, kumpulan, group of atoms. Mole is smaller, substance of atoms. Okay, let's see. Okay, I want to discuss first law of uh, thermodynamics. Let's see. This is heat as energy transfer. Okay, let's skip this one. Heat is energy transfer from an object to another because of difference in temperature. Like I mentioned just now, when we put side by side hot water and cold water, they have difference in temperature, but if we connect them, right, the heat from the hot one will transfer to the cold one. Okay. Okay. This is the cost specific heat. Q. Heat. Q stands for heat. The amount of heat required to change temperature of material is proportional to the mass and to the temperature change. M is mass, C is specific heat. You can find C in here, the table there, the specific heat. C, T is temperature. Okay. Uh, how heat transfer depends on specific heat. How much heat input needed? Q. To raise temperature of empty 2 kg vat made of iron from 10 degrees Celsius to 90 degrees Celsius. So if you see iron, iron, where is iron? Okay. The C for iron specific heat is uh, 450 joule. Kg Celsius. Okay. Kg Celsius. So four hundred and fifty. So in here, K just now equal to M C delta T. M M M M M M twenty C four hundred fifty right delta T delta T is ninety minus ten right so this is the answer okay B what if the fat is filled with two kg of water so you find Q for the one with water first then add Water, I'm not sure water. Okay, water here. Liquid, huh? This one. So you use this one. 4,186. And you find the Q and add with the previous one. A. Okay. Okay. Because I will focus on this one. First law of thermodynamics. The change in internal energy of a closed system will be equal. The change in internal energy. The change in, in internal energy is this one. Okay. Equal to the energy added to the system. Yeah. Or we can call it heat. heat. Minus the work done by the system on its surrounding. This one. Okay. This is the law of conversion energy written in the form of photo system involved in the heat transfer. So this is a simple formula, but uh, I want to explain on the sign convention 
Yeah. Because in some textbook, if you look at the other textbook, they will just uh, use this one, for example, plus W. Okay. This is not wrong. This is also correct. But we have to agree when we're going to use minus, when we're going to use plus. So we stick to this formula, this one. But we have to follow the sign convention. So let me give, uh, uh, explain the sign convention. So, for example, this is engine. Engine. So we have hit Q. We have walk. We have walk. Okay. We go to hit first. When is the hit become plus? Hit become plus. Yeah. Plus. When the hit given on the engine. Given on. Given on sorry on engine this is plus when is it minus minus when the heat given by the engine by engine okay so what what, what Plus, meaning when the heat comes from outside, right? Entering the engine, that is plus. Heat is minus when the heat actually comes from the engine, goes outside, given by the engine. Okay. Now work. What about work? Work is plus. Yeah. When work done by the engine. Okay. So the work is done by the engine. As works become minus when work done on the engine yeah this is a sign convention that we have to follow if we use this formula okay because the question letter is a bit tricky especially the the word there so have to be careful in just follow the sign convention we will find them. Okay, let's see the example. Okay, let's set this. Up. Okay, here's the example. Uh, 200, uh, sorry, 2,500 joule of heat is added to the system. Okay. Heat Q. Right. So heat means Q. Don't forget the, 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 the formula. Equal to Q minus W. Heat minus O. So hit Q, 2,500 Joule, add it to the system, add it to the system, hit given on the engine, right? So this is plus then, plus, okay, and 1,800, 1,800, 
of work works in w thousand eight hundred zero done on the system done on the system done on the system means minus right plus is work done by the system by the engine but this one the question is work is done on the system or on the engine I understand so so by using the formula q minus u is plus w is so 2500 plus sorry 4300 right 4300 okay so it, it makes sense huh? just by using a simple logic by using a simple logic there's one system and the heat is added to the system okay first heat is added to the system and then the work is done on the system work is done on the system meaning what meaning all of the energy is coming to the system it's not come out of the system it's coming to the system so basically it's combination of those two uh, energy which is heat and work right heat added to the system it's obvious it is plus then and the work is done on the system it's even added to the system so it's see uh, is the addition combination of those two okay okay uh, if you have any question you can just ask or you can type maybe in the chat room i will check i can check no question so far yeah this is expansion of uh, first law basically <clears throat> uh, still remember this one this is the original formula right if you remember this one is mechanical energy some textbooks uh, uh, use notation of this is mechanical energy this is a kinetic energy plus potential energy right mechanical this is kinetic this is potential Okay, example, 3 gram bullet traveling at speed of 400 enters a tree and exit the other side with a speed of 200. Where did the bullets lost the kinetic energy go? And what was the energy transferred? So by using the formula, uh, let me check. The energy involved here, the system, the system here is the tree and the bullet, for example. All right. The tree and the bullet. If you look at the potential energy there, there is none. Right, there is no potential energy because potential energy, the formula equal to 
M G H. Right. M G H. So H is zero. Right? H is zero. So we can delete the potential energy. This one. Okay. No potential energy involved. And even no work done by the system or by outside force, or even no heat added because no energy was transferred to or from the system due to temperature difference because there's no temperature difference, right? So this one is also zero. This one is also zero. They will leave you only with kinetic energy plus equal to zero. That means minus that energy. The formula is M V. Right. V is velocity. Delta V Velocity, delta V means V final minus V initial. So, two, four, 400 minus 200. All right? So, you get the uh, energy, the kinetic energy. Okay. Okay, this is just a term. Isothermal means uh, tempera temperature is constant. It's not change. Isothermal process one in which the temperature does not change. Okay, if you see here, the graph is pressure against uh, volume. Okay, pressure against volume. Okay, there's another term, isothermal adiabatic, in which there is no heat flow into or out of the system. Okay. This is isobaric, means constant pressure. If you look at the pressure, it's constant. And isovolumetric means the same volume, constant volume. This is a type of uh, process, huh? process of a gas. So I will go to uh, skim this this one. Okay, this is this is the uh, table. Isothermal, isobaric, isovolumetric, adiabatic. Q means zero, means no heat. Isothermal, T is constant. Isobaric, P is constant. Isopolymetric, P is constant. Okay. So the first law is this one. This is the first law of thermodynamics. So for example, adiabatic just now. Let me explain. For the case of adiabatic, right, as we know, the original formula is Q minus omega, right? Adiabatics means no heat. Means Q equal to zero. So if equal to zero, that means this one equal to minus work, this one. Okay. And also the rest you can check. Okay, last one is the second law. Uh, the second law of Newton, let me go directly to the law. Okay, this is basically the 
simple explanation of uh, second law. Heat can flow spontaneously from hot object to cold object. It will not flow spontaneously from hot object to hot object. At the beginning, I mentioned example of two uh, glass of water, the hot one and cold one. If you put them side by side, they have physical contact. So the one from hot, the heat will transfer to cold one. It's not the other way. It's not from cold, the heat from cold transfer to cold one, no. So according to the second law, the heat will flow from a hot water to cold water. That is the second law of uh, thermodynamic. Okay. So what interesting here, the difference temperature, right? There's a different temperature. We produce work. We produce energy. So if you have here high temperature in here, right? You see this one. This is high temperature. This is low temperature. There's a there's a gap difference in of the temperature. You can produce that one in two work into work right there's an engine that can that can convert temperature difference into work okay it is easy to produce thermal energy using work of course right using uh, produce thermal energy using work like for example if you work out if you exercise practice that means what you will produce uh, thermal right thermal energy you will get heat up that is easy but then how that we can produce work using thermal energy we do it in reverse so there's an engine for that heat engine that work basically based based on the temperature difference Okay, I will go to the. Um, I will go to. Okay, this one. Uh, efficiency of a heat engine. Uh, let me draw again. This is, for example, the. This is the Q, this is the high temperature, this is the low temperature, this is the work. Okay. So efficiency is uh, basic formula for efficiency is output over input. So the, out, the input is the high temperature. The output is the work, right? The one that we want is the work. The QL is the low temperature. We can call it always, as always, right? Always, always. This is uh, work. Work. So basically, UH equal to work plus UL, right? So work equal to UH minus UL, this one. Right, the input is a QH high temperature heat. The output is work. The waste is a UL the low heat, the low temperature. So you can modify to this one. Equal to this one. So this one basically. 
uh over uh minus ul over uh right you get this one yeah let's see the example okay automobile engine has efficiency of 20 percent an average of 23,000 uh, of mechanical work per second during operation a how much heat input is required b uh, how much heat is discharged as waste heat from this engine per second okay uh, the basic formula the basic formula is efficiency, right? Some textbook use E efficiency, some textbook use this one. No problem. W over QH. Right. Or just now equal to 1 over UL, right? UL over QH. A. A. So the, the given parameters, the efficiency, efficiency is uh, 20%, produce of average of work, so work is uh, 23,000 Joe, so A is looking for heat input, QH, so QH will be work over efficiency right work is uh, 23000 efficiency is 20% percent Hmm. Twenty two. it's around One hundred fifteen kilojoule. B. How much heat is discharged as waste heat from this engine per second? Okay. Waste heat QL. You have to find QL here. So use this formula. Oh, basically, uh, we know W, we know EH, we know, or basically, it's, mm. um, yes, uh, QH equal to omega, eh, sorry, work plus QL, right, so QL equal to UH minus UH is uh, right yes. K work twenty K right much you got there ninety two Yes, it's around 92, right, 92 kilojoule. The waste heat is 92 kilojoule. Okay. Your thing will stop here. Okay. Any questions so far?
the forward stop. You can check the answers in the textbook, sir. No question, eh? Okay, if you have, okay, another thing. Okay, this is last one. No device is possible. Wholesale effect is to transform given amount of heat completely into work. That means there is no way that efficiency is equal to 100%. There must be waste energy. The KL must be there. This is not possible. Okay. There must be QL here. <clears throat> okay, guys, if you don't have any questions, uh, I will check later on the fixed date for your second test. Um, I'm not sure, we are still discussing. But the topic covered is uh, chapter two and three. Okay, but that's two questions only. Uh, two questions, I guess. There's two or three sub questions for each questions. One hour only. Okay, if you don't have any questions, I'll see you next week. Uh, take care. Stay safe. Huh? Okay, bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.